But now Lita has a huge amount of troops in the middle of the map. Huge amount of troops in the middle of the map. So he could do a very aggressive push towards Flash's natural expansion if he keeps his head about him. Uh, tries to scan, figure out where those dropships are. If he catches the dropships away from the middle, he'll be able to grind his way towards the natural expansion from Flash. Uh, easier said than done, I know. Because Flash is ve being very careful with his dropships. Okay, now this is the 12 o'clock position coming up for Lita, knowing that he can't really handle the 8 o'clock right now with the amount of troops he has in the middle. Okay, Flash working his way back and forth. Uh, saying, okay, Lita, where are you going to drop next? Are you going to go to my main, or are you going to try to get rid of those troops at the 8 o'clock again? If he does try to get rid of the troops at the 8 o'clock again, I think it'll be suicide for Lita, because Flash will just uh, go down there with more dropships again and retake that. And All right, looks like they're having an earthquake in Busan. <laughs> Not a very good camera, man. But all right, uh, Lita positioning himself down at the 5 o'clock. Looks like he's going to go for the expo, from Flash, he's positioning himself and his dropships to take down that 5 o'clock natural expansion. Uh, but this will be extremely difficult to do. Okay, he's trying to take the high ground. Here comes Flash with his dropships. Looks like he almost anticipated this. He had his dropships right there, ready to drop. And he drops a couple more troops at this uh, 5 o'clock natural expansion, being scanned right now by Lita. So at least Lita knows the amount of troops that Flash has, and he knows about the drop ship. Lita got to be a little bit more careful with all the mines in there. Whew, he's so close to those mines at the low ground, but at least he didn't hit them there. That could have been devastating. That one mine that's so close to that tank group, that could have destroyed all those tanks. But all right, Flash hovering back and forth, Lita... Hovering back and forth, both have a scout on the dropships at the moment, I think, which is why they're both not dropping, because they know, well, he knows where my dropships are. I should probably back off for now. But Lita inching his way down the map. Lita knows that he has to keep a base over Flash uh, at all times. Dropships, kind of a stare, staring contest between the dropships saying, oh man, a huge attack. Right now, Lita, I think, is going to take it. Lita takes this, but Splash still has troops on the high ground. Lita shouldn't push this. He shouldn't push his luck from the low ground, as he's doing. And uh, But he does manage to finally get rid of these troops from Flash. Oh, I was so scared for Lita there a second. I thought for sure that those tanks on the high ground were just going to destroy Lita's tanks on the low ground. But he came out of that with uh, quite a few tanks anyway. He still has lower population than Flash, even after that drop, that massive, massive drop from both players. But all right, Flash, I think he still has the economic advantage. He's still taking in quite a few minerals. He has a ton of minerals in the tank, a ton of gas in the tank. He just doesn't have, he can't spend enough to get, to get his minerals and gas that low. So we'll probably see him taking another base soon, putting down more factories. He's probably in the process of throwing down more factories right now to make it a little bit more efficient for himself. All right, Lita, determined to take the 8 o'clock, coming down with his dropships at the exact same time. There's Flash, has his dropships in there too. So Flash is going to hold the 8 o'clock while Lita tries to hold the natural 8 o'clock. Ah, oh, this is going to be so difficult for Lita now, though. Flash has his tanks just the right position uh, to do a bit of harassment of those at the of that mineral line if Lita should start mining there. But Lita, both players scanning, trying to get the vision. <laughs> the command center actually within siege range. I hope that Lita notices that quickly. Looks like a, a Flash lost vision of that though. So Lita's going to have a lucky break as far as that goes. All right. Flash, both players hovering around with the drop ships now. Flash it looks like he's headed back to his own bases to pick up more troops for another drop. Now, I think he's going to drop right at the 8 o'clock position again because he has pretty much his entire army down there anyway. Might as well reinforce, reinforce that and make sure that base doesn't come up because Lita already has the... He's building the 6 o'clock, and he has the 12 o'clock. So Flash has to stop one of these bases from coming up, one of them, because he, he won't be able to compete with Lita the longer this goes on. But Flash, kind of a suicide drive from him to get, re get rid of Lita down at the 5 o'clock. Okay, now Flash trying to take that 5 o'clock, and he's got rid of most of the troops from Lita down at this position. 
Lido flying in with drop ships. He could m make the difference with these drop ships if he's going to work his way into the the uh, the eight the five o'clock main. Sorry. Okay, Flash positioning all of his troops. Looks like he's dropped pretty much all of his units from the dropship now. Has a lot of Goliaths out, actually, kind of acting as meat shields for these tanks, I think. Here come the siege tanks. I think these siege tanks are going to destroy everything. Yep, Lita forced to back off. And he's just going to have to hold a contain here until he can get some reinforcements to take down that base. But luckily for Lita, he does have quite a few bases. He's keeping up with Flash in the number of bases he has. And Flash is taking the 8 o'clock, though, <laughs> right next to the 8 o'clock natural. That's what I love about uh, TVT. Your expos are so close together, and they're just, just a stare-off, staring contest between the tanks. Oh, man. So, all right. Uh, Flash not really paying attention to his SEV, <laughs> to his SEV mining down at the 8 o'clock. But at least he got those going uh, from the command center. All right, Lita making sure he can hold his 6 o'clock. Flash working his way down with some SCVs at the front as meat shields. But he decides to back off for now. He wants to get the perfect drop on this, the perfect amount of units to do this. But actually, he's working his way uh, towards the 8 o'clock natural. He already has tanks down here to make this count. So I think he's going to be able to take out this base, especially with the drop ship play now. Brilliant attack from Flash. He's coming in with a pincer attack at the same time, a uh, halting this drop from Lita. So things are not looking good for Lita now. This is an expertly timed uh, attack from Flash. Lita completely caught off guard. Woo! Look at that. Uh, sweat pouring down Lita's face and the huge sigh from him. Lita still has the top and bottom expansions, but those are... Wait, he doesn't have the top expansion. I thought he was building that. He had it earlier, but I think he lost it. So that whole time, that's just been the engineering bay up there making the purple blob. So Lita is not doing good. Lita is in dire straits right now. He has to do something very special to get back in this game. So, all right, what is he going to do? He still has plenty of dropships. He's kept all of his dropships. That's de a definite advantage that Lita has right now. He hasn't lost dropships to a huge amount of Goliaths or something like that. That could have been bad. Or turrets. Oh, boy, the turrets. If you remember that from the first set. All right, Flash working his way down with his ground army at the same time. Flash is going for a huge attack over here, dropping all of his troops. Man, that's it. That's got to be it. Yeah, that's it. GG from Lita and Flash works his way into yet another semifinal. And uh, I have to say the semifinals this round, this season, are looking excellent. These semifinals are excellent, excellent. Of course, everyone is kind of thinking in their brain right now, yeah, we're going to get that matchup again in the final. But I don't know. I think things are a little bit more up in the air this season than they have been in the uh, MSL seasons the past few seasons. So it's hard to tell. It's still very hard to tell who's going to get into the final. I'm sure you know who I want to get in the, into the finals. But oh, this has been Nuke. I'll see you guys next week for the semifinals. It's going to be on Wednesday and Friday. They're grouping them into one week this time, which is annoying, but I'll do it anyway. Says Ben Nuke. See you guys later.